Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome back to my channel. I would love to talk today about um, our body and it's a temple of God. Holy Spirit, please help me to speak. Um, so first of all, remember when Jesus said, don't you remember that your body is the, uh, the temple of God? And when you go to Kings, the first Kings 8, um, 12, then Solomon said, the Lord has said that he would dwell in a dark cloud. I have indeed built a magnificent temple for you, a place for you to dwell forever. So remember Jesus was saying uh, that our body, we need to keep his commandments and <clears throat> finish the building, right? He was talking about our bodies, our bodies, our heart, our, all of, like, everything in us is the holy temple. And whatever we give up, whatever we overcome, whenever we hear God speaking to us, give to the poor or uh, go tithing or go give up this or go move there and do this. Just when we do, when we obey God, we are purifying ourselves the more we giving up for God, the more we overcoming, the more we are listening to him when he speaks to us. And we, n not just talking, but we actually doing it in action. When he says go, we are going. When he says come, we are coming. When he says stop, wait, we are waiting. Then we are, then there's less of us and more of God and God can dwell in us. When you go and start to read how Solomon was building the temple, how many things had to be done? It's like we are, we are like, um, you know, God is shaping us like the pottery, right? Like he, if you ever saw a pottery shaped, um, a vase shaped in the beginning, first it doesn't have any form. It's more it it lets God like it more it lets the 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 the, the person who's shaping it work on it the more beautiful it becomes but it has to like let the person control it it cannot say no i can't i'm sorry uh i want to look this way or that way you know the same are we in a potter's hand god is god is the hand of the potter he is the potter and we are the pottery and while it's spinning around as more we let go of things God can shape us, and on the end, the 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 details are are. He's making the details on us, and then we are perfect, and then we can. We are we are nice, beautiful thing on the end, right? So um, it's the same when Solomon. When I read how Solomon was building the building, right? The Solomon was the 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 son of David. He was building the uh, holy temple for God. He did so many things. He, he hired so many people. Everybody was taking care of something else. They were doing beautiful furnishing, furnishings on the end. In the beginning, everything was made by gold. And he needed this and that. And if I look what Jesus said, our body is the holy temple. And don't you know that our body is the temple of God? So we have to treat it as this, first of all. But not just treat us as, as, you know, good, but also let God do the work in us. Because if we hold on to things, we, we're never going to finish this building. If you hold on to something, like if you hold on to the, to the, um, to the color of the wall, the whole design is never going to change. You have to get, let go of the green color of the wall to make something new. Or you have to let go of the old furnishings and let the new furnishings come in. Let the people take over the house and, and do the things from, from top to bottom. Destroy the kitchen and make an island in the in the middle, for example. The same was with us. God is smashing the things that he doesn't want in us. And purifies and cleanse, cleansifies us. And is putting his things in us you know he ne you need to let him uh, take over <clears throat> your mind heart and soul and everything you have and ask him daily to cleanse you to purify and sanctify you 
give up things if he asks you for example how god speaks to me personally i know there are people they would not agree or they would say okay god speaks to me in numbers i was thinking god speaks in one uh, one way but he will take your attention over and over again to the same things but you need to be open minded for example i needed to repent of something of my past but i didn't know i was ignorant and god every time i went to the beach god let me every time the 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 road was closed the way i would usually go and i had always to go next to 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 a to a to a sign where 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 i used to work the, i always pass by a sign that i used to work and every time i look up and i saw this sign with this name on it i'm thinking why am i always seeing i got reminded of that i was fighting with my old boss right but i never <clears throat> i never thought about this but god knows everything so he let me go and go over again and go over again till i got it i'm like wait god are you trying to tell me something is do i have to repent from this so i started to repent while i was driving and then i felt so good i felt so free and then i never again uh, pass by this road anymore or example uh god wanted me to um pray for jewish people i had no idea every time i went in the park out of nowhere everywhere i saw jewish people and i'm like okay jewish people i don't understand why am i seeing jewish people everywhere you know i don't have anything against jewish people so i'm like okay every time wherever i go i see jewish people which is crazy to me because i never saw jewish people before around me so and then i was like okay god are you trying to tell me something so i had to <clears throat> pray for them and then i didn't see any jewish people around me uh when i'm reading the word of god for example i'm reading something about solomon and then something else would pop in my mind like give give 50 dollars to your church i'm like what how does it come now to my to my mind you know like while you're reading something and something else is popping in your mind you know god is speaking trying to talk to you because you're like connecting with god now and god is like trying to take advantage and like saying like okay do this do that or like when you pray and you see a picture keep seeing a picture Forget about what you was about.